Hey everybody, it's Chris Small from CMS Law Firm. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the wrong way to update your estate plan. Uh, before I get to that though, I wanna remind you, if you uh, need any help with estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, so today, I did a, uh, I did a trust amendment and updated some other documents for a, a client of mine, and um, as I was I was talking with her, um, she let me know that that um, a while ago she had wanted to update some of her documents, and so she just started crossing things out and making changes, and that she initialed them and dated them, and so she thought that that was okay, and I had to tell her that no, in fact, that is not okay. Um, that is the wrong way to update your estate plan. And although I'm chuckling, it is, it is a, um, it makes sense that you, you could do that. Um, and obviously it's very easy to do that and that would be nice. Um, but because it actually is so easy to do, it's sort of one of the reasons that it's not the right way to do it. You know, these, your estate plan, um, you know, entails some of the most important, um, power, the, the most important protections, some of the most important things, um, in your life, right? Who the guardians of your kids are, um, how your assets are distributed, who has access and control over your assets to help you if you um, if you need it. These things are very important. And so we have designed systems, however rudimentary and uh, sort of um, old that they might be, to help ensure that these things, these powers when they are given, are given properly. And when things are updated, they are updated properly so that we can ensure that you, as the, the sort of holder of your own personal um, security and responsibility, give those powers out to the people that you want, give your assets to the people that you want, so that things are, are not sort of stolen and so that, that um, people are not taken advantage of. And so um, just writing over the top of your current estate plan is not sufficient to change the estate plan. And it can actually have some, some sort of detrimental side effects because it, it may just cancel out some of the things that are in there um, to the um, to the detriment of some of the other things. So the things that you want to put in don't get counted. The things that you took out are taken out, and so it can just create a, a big, big mess and problem. Okay. So with that being said, um, one more time, don't write on your estate planning documents. Don't cross things out. You just have to update them and amend them in the proper way. If you need to create um, new powers of attorney, for example, typically you just um, you just make a new one, okay? You can revoke your old stuff whenever you want, but if you want to assign new people or if you want to change things, just make a new one. Um, if you have a will and you want to update your will, you have to create something called a codicil, okay? It's basically like an amendment, sits right on top of your current will, and it says, you know, for this specific paragraph, I want to change this thing to this. The same thing works with your trust. If you want to change your trust, you have to do a trust amendment. The trust amendment sits right up on top of your current trust and it says paragraph 6G is changed from this to this. That's how you formally update your documents. All right. So looks like this is going to be a shorty, but hopefully a goodie. Um, updating your things is normal. Uh, people tend to update their documents every, I don't know, a couple of years, every few years. But if you do it, you want to make sure you do it in a way that actually works. Okay. So that's it. Um, as always, um, if you made it this far, uh, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, and if you have questions about probate or estate planning and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. All right, that's it. I'm Christopher Small. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.